this one right now. Can you put your hands Good morning, everybody. How's everybody doing? Hands up if you're okay. Hands up if you got five hours sleep. Woo! <laughs> Six. Good. First, like yesterday, let's start off with a big round of applause for the kids who are real heroes. yesterday, as soon as the aftershock was over, to reach out to them. But because of problems with the cell phone service, problems that there's no electricity, people's batteries have run out, we've only been able to reach out to about 20 of them. I think by now we have lots of people coming into work. No one has reported any problems or injuries to us, but we're watching that very closely. But if anybody hears of any of our staff or their, their families that need help, let John, me, anybody know immediately. Does everybody understand that? Is anybody aware of anybody who needs help that we haven't heard about yet? We continue to keep this facility open, and we keep the facility down at Fort Durbar open. Last night, we had about 200 people down there, a variety of uh, private American citizens, some official American citizens, and some third country nationals. The airport is open. We are waiting for flights to take off today, closed temporarily. Yesterday evening, we had a number of people who were supposed to fly out last night who couldn't. But we've already started getting some assistance from our colleagues in Delhi. Some arrived yesterday, and we're expecting more and more people today. We have two teams on the way, search and rescue teams. One from Fairfax County, Virginia, and one from L.A. County. They're, they will be on, in the air shortly. One of the planes had a problem. They'll be here the next two days and will be assisting the government of the call. As I mentioned to you yesterday, we have two DOD medical teams in town. They are working with the government to make call. They've been seeing people here. They've been extraordinary in supporting us. In fact, let's give them a round of applause. They did some health assessments. Sean did their people yesterday in the concert section. They're down on the Tunifel, and a number of them are going to be flying. They thought up to Lupla, but probably to another location. This is just the very beginning of the assistance we're going to get. We have all sorts of other things on the way. We will respond to whatever they call as things come up. Now, what are our priorities here for the first few days? Well, my first priority has always been all of your safety. And I say all of you, I mean the official Americans, their families, and all of the private American citizens we have. We've succeeded in that. We've all stayed safe. We've gotten through two major quakes in the last 48 hours. But now we have to look ahead. What can we do? None of us knew, and you never know in a crisis like this, how long it will go and how severe it will be. What usually happens is, sadly, the uh, casualty toll always goes up and is higher than we'd like. What we're seeing is the damage, particularly from yesterday's quake, has caused additional damage around the country. I'm concerned right now we've been able to feed everybody water and fuel here at the embassy for another month. But how long will this last? Will we be able to be able to continue to support efforts. Because of that, we're looking at efforts to get everybody, not everybody, family members, 